Food service. Businesses and companies responsible for any meal prepared outside the home. Because people almost never tip enough, keep watching this video. Today's list is top five rules to survive the food service industry. One, when a table does something horrible to you, go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt. Instead of saying, I can't believe that table stiffed me, turn it around to, no cash on the table, but maybe they just didn't have any small bills and they'll be back tomorrow. And instead of, are you freaking serious? That family let the baby paint the table with pasta. How about, sure, the baby left pasta all over the table, but maybe they had an emergency and just didn't have time to clean up. Yes, this will slowly become very annoying to yourself. And sometimes it'll be very hard for you to make an excuse for these people. But when in doubt, just assume that they've never worked in food service and they don't understand what you deal with. Two, as a general rule of thumb, just keep your mouth shut. This applies for both your tables and your coworkers. When whatever you've said gets back around to a coworker, it's very easy for them to make your job miserable by either stealing tips, stealing tables, or making more side work for you to do. If you really think about it, somebody from your table could be located anywhere in the restaurant at any given point in time, and they haven't left your tip yet. Three, fake it till you make it without being fake. Seriously, don't have a plastic smile. It's not endearing. Do be personable with your tables. This doesn't mean share your life story, but this is where I pull out my southern charm. Hello, hello, how are y'all doing tonight? Four, don't try too hard for an extra tip. Do laugh at your table's jokes, no matter how stupid they are, just not too much. Don't complain about the cooking staff and don't complain about how tired you are because you got conned into taking a double shift today. They know you want their money and they don't care. They just wanna eat their food, so let them. Five, now there is a chance that something will go terribly, terribly wrong during your shift, but do not allow yourself to get too frustrated until you're off the- It'll hurt your job performance, it'll hurt your happiness, and it'll hurt your tips. And here's a good side note for anyone working in any field. Whenever you're working with a client or a customer, you never don't know an answer to a question. At worst, you aren't sure right off, but you'll be right back with an answer. And by the way, these tips are brought to you by my four years of experience in food service. What am I doing with my life? Music education! Yeah. Now what I want to hear from y'all is your worst food service experience. Whether you're a customer or a server, just lay it on me. I, I could use a good laugh. If you want to hear one of my more recent stories about food service, click on the penguin because it's going to explain why there's this little dot on my knuckle there and I'm getting anesthesia and cut out because there's glass in my finger. And that's my phone and I play flute and fingers are important.